Warning, the following video is a black hat tactic. This is all for educational purposes only. Please use at your own risk. I came across a Twitter thread the other day. This is back in November. It's from Jake Ward. He wrote, we pulled off an SEO heist that stole 3.6 million total traffic from a competitor. We got 489,509 traffic in October alone and here's how we did it. So in this video, we're gonna walk through this Twitter thread. We're gonna find out what an SEO heist is. I'll go through all the steps. Then if you're still interested, at about the halfway mark, I'm gonna show you how to do this. What tools you'll need, what you'll have to build, and the steps I take if I was gonna pull off the same SEO heist. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, interesting Twitter thread. An SEO heist is something I actually did for a previous web app. I didn't steal any competitor's traffic. I kind of built my own, but the same premise applied. So scrolling down here, this is a quick summary. We pulled off an SEO heist using AI. Number one, exported a competitor's sitemap. Two, turned their list of URLs into article titles. Three, created 1,800 articles from those titles at scale using AI. And then he shows the results. 18 months later, they stole 3.6 million total traffic. So I guess he's tracking both his competitor's traffic and his own traffic with an SEO tool. I'm assuming that's why he's saying stolen. So that traffic has moved from his competitor's website to his website. And then he's getting 490,000 monthly traffic. That's a lot of traffic for any website, any business. You can make a lot of money with that type of traffic. Even with the lowest conversion rate, that can be converted into cash. He writes how we did it. 18 months ago, this was a totally manual process. Today, there are tools to help automate 90% of the process, and here's how. Okay, step one, find a competitor. Which website ranks for the keywords you wanna rank for? You need to brainstorm, you can use Ahrefs or SEMrush, or you can manually search on Google. And this image looks to be Ahrefs, where he's finding some competitor websites. Number two, you have to see their sitemap. To find your competitor's sitemap, add the following to their domain. And it's whatever their website domain name is, slash sitemap.xml. And in this image, he's showing the website competitor that he was stealing traffic from. And this is a list of all of their article URLs. Their sitemap shows a list of all the URLs on their website. However, the URLs in the sitemap must be descriptive to get the best results. And he gives an example. This second one got cut off. The first is website.com slash T. That's like a subdirectory of articles. And then 1043423. We already know that that's bad for SEO. So this website's not a good target anyways. But if the same website did website.com slash how to make soup, that URL would better trigger for the key phrase how to make soup. Step three is you export sitemap. He suggests searching Google convert XML to CSV and then use one of the free tools to export the sitemap as a CSV file. And in this image, he found a free XML to CSV converter. He pasted in that URL in the input and then his output was CSV. Number four, generate ideas. Using the list of competitor URLs, it's time to generate article ideas. Add the URLs from the sitemap into buy words right from URLs feature and scrape the URLs. So I looked it up and buy words is a paid tool. I think this is a tool that he's promoting, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself. He continues, this tool generates article titles and outlines based on the competitor URLs provided. For example, that how to make soup URL might get translated to a beginner's guide to making soup. Now you have an article that works with that key phrase, how to make soup. Step five is write with AI. And I'm gonna click on this image. Here is that tool writing out the article. It's probably using GPT-4. You could probably do this manually with a tool like ChatGPT after you've gotten the URL. I might show you how to do this too. Once ready, generate AI content for your final set of articles. And this image, there's a generate articles button and it's gonna generate articles for all of those article titles. And then it spits out a full article around that keyword or key phrase. Number six, it says publish quickly. 
publish the content straight onto your website using CMS integrations. And this tool seems to have integrations with WordPress, Webflow, Zapier, API access, and more coming soon. So the API and the Zapier are for all types of websites that have an API connection. Again, I'm gonna show you how to build this yourself. And he says the results, using this process, we published 1800 articles in a few hours. And then since then, 490,000 monthly traffic, 3.6 million total since publishing, 13,000 keywords on page one of Google. Let's show more. And he's saying that the best part is they've taken that traffic from their competitor. So that's the SEO heist. A quick high level overview is find a competitor, view their sitemap, export that sitemap into a different format like CSV, generate ideas from all the URLs, write articles around those ideas, targeting those keywords and key phrases, and then publish those articles to your website. So let's go do this ourselves. I'm gonna show you how you could do this with ChatGPT, with GPT-4, with your own tools and your own website. Step one, let's find a competitor. Let's do an example here. Let's say I was creating a travel website and I want to start to sell a new product. Let's say travel backpacks. I'd find a competitor. This is an example competitor. And my plan would be to take this competitor's traffic and bring that traffic over to my own website so they can potentially purchase my backpacks. So step one is find a competitor. I have one here. Step two, we got to get the sitemap. So I'm going to go to the URL. Let's zoom in and we're going to go forward slash sitemap.xml. And we're seeing that this website has seven sitemaps. Looking at the URLs closely, it looks that we want to target the posts. We wouldn't want the authors or the categories. We want to see the actual article. So I'm going to click this first one, post slash sitemap one. And this is perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. This is all the article URLs on this website. It even shows us how many images are in each article. Now scrolling all the way down, looks like they have a fair bit here. This seems to be a good target. This website has 200 total URLs in this sitemap. So let's take this URL, let's copy it. We're gonna Google XML to CSV. And this appears to be the same tool that Jake Ward used in his Twitter thread. So I'm gonna go to enter URL. Let's paste this in. And we're gonna convert to CSV. This is definitely a spreadsheet with multiple columns. And it's the same thing we saw here. We have the URL, we have images, last modified. We don't need this data. We only need the URLs. So if I can get this into a CSV, we can take just the URLs and ignore the rest of the data. So I'm gonna click save to disk and download it to my computer. I've opened that file up in Google Sheets. Let's delete this first row. And I'm gonna select this column and I'm gonna copy all of this data. Now over in ChatGPT, I wrote a simple prompt. I wrote, here are a list of 200 URLs. Generate a potential article title for each of the URLs provided. For example, and then I used his example in the Twitter thread, website.com slash how to make soup could be a beginner's guide to making soup. And now I'm gonna enter in our data. Let's do some stars, enter in all our URLs, end it with some stars, and let's see what GPT-4 can spit out for us. And there we go, it's creating article titles for each of the URLs provided. And let's double check some of these. So number, obviously we're not gonna use number one because that is their website name. Let's see number two though, the ultimate guide to carry on luggage size. And scrolling up, their URL was carry on luggage size. So that's perfect, that's exactly what we're looking for. I wonder if it's gonna do all 200. No, due to the length of your request, I provide titles for the first 50 URLs. So let's go, keep going let's make sure is number 51 the ultimate hawaii packing list for island adventures oh it's not number it's gonna be tough to find okay i found 51 i counted them hawaii packing list so it is right okay so we can keep going but let's stop at the 100 the next step is we need to make articles for each of these article titles i'm going to suggest three ways to do it the first way is all manual all right, I'd go, let's say this number 47, Portland packing list, essentials for the city of roses. I'm gonna copy this, create a new chat GPT conversation, and I'm gonna input, write a 1000 word article around the title Portland packing list, essentials for the city of roses. And chat GPT is gonna spit out that article. When it's all done, I'd simply copy it and then paste on my website. All right, this was if I was writing medium articles, 
But if I had a WordPress website, a Bubble website, a Webflow website, I'd post it in the CMS. If you want better, more in-depth articles, I'd use a custom GPT. I created a free one called SEO Fox that does exactly this. For this specific GPT, it wants you to start with a keyword. So I wouldn't need the article title. I would just enter in the keyword, let's say Portland packing list, which was taken from that URL. And then I would follow the steps of SEO Fox as it walks you through writing that article. Again, this is a manual process. And here the first step is gonna give us a bunch of article titles. We can choose one, then it will create an outline and then we'll start to write the article. In the end, you're gonna to have to copy it and then paste it to your website. The third way is I'd build this tool myself. I would use a tool like Bubble, which is a no code builder. And I'll quickly walk you through what I would do to create this tool. This is something I made before called Autoblog, and it's pretty similar. First, you're gonna need an input. This input is a multi dropdown input, but you're gonna to need to separate all of your titles with commas. So in ChatGPT, I'd have to copy all of the titles that it spit out and write in the input, please separate each of these titles with a comma. And then I'd input all of the titles. So our output should be these titles separated by a comma. And there we go. So we'll let that finish. I'm gonna go back to bubble. And once this button's pressed, we'll go in the back end here. It's gonna trigger a custom workflow. I'm gonna change this to the example one. And what this custom workflow is grabbing is each item in that drop down input. And I'm sorry this is getting complicated. If you guys would like, I can make a full in-depth tutorial on how to build this. I'm just showing an example to spur some ideas. The find and replace part, we're gonna take away the quotation marks. I can see that ChatGPT made this list with quotes but it's no big deal, we can remove this automatically. So what you'll have in this workflow is each of these article titles all separated. Now clicking on the custom workflow, the first step is gonna make an API call to OpenAI using GPT-4, and the API call is simply saying, write an SEO optimized article about, and we have all of those keywords, all of those article titles, and then an item number, which is gonna be the first item in that list. 3000 max tokens means this article should be about 2500 words or so. And then the model we're using GPT for. The next step, it's creating a blog. And in this example, the blog would be hosted on Bubble as well. I've created a default blog page that everything is posted to. And the content is the result of that API call. So it's going to be your article and the article title is simply that item number in the list. Bubble doesn't like recursive custom workflow, so we're gonna have to copy this, paste it again. We're gonna call this number two. And then at the end of the first custom workflow, it's gonna schedule a copy of that workflow. But this time, we're doing item number number two. We're going to the next item in the list. So that's the next article title that we have saved. And then it would run this custom workflow, which is the exact same thing. It would create an article about your next keyword or your next article title. And then at the end, we have to trigger that first one again. So it's gonna go back and forth, back and forth until there are no more articles to generate for. So that's how I do it manually. Just a quick walkthrough. Again, I didn't want this to get too complicated. Sorry if I lost a few people. If you're interested in a full walkthrough, please write in a comment below. All this would cost you is the hosting costs on Bubble and then your API calls. And I'm on the pricing page and the input costs are negligible because it's just your article title and that small text that's like write an SEO optimized article. So that's nothing. The outputs, what's going to cost you money is three cents per 1000 tokens. And we had a max 3000 tokens. So you're looking at anywhere from five to 10 cents per article for 200 articles. Let's do 7.5 cents right in the middle. It's gonna cost you 15 bucks. But that's peanuts in relation to how much total traffic that these articles could bring to your website. So that's an AI SEO heist. You find a competitor, you get their sitemap, you turn that sitemap into a list of URLs, you make article titles from those URLs with ChatGPT or GPT-4 API, and then you generate those articles and publish them on your website. And then after a certain amount of time, once Google has indexed everything, you should start getting organic traffic to your website, and that organic traffic can make you money. Thanks for watching. Peace.